Hey everyone, today we're going to be reviewing this Ulanzi silicone case with lens cap that I purchased from Amazon for your GoPro Hero 8 Black. So check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Everyday. If you are new here, my name is Ken and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be reviewing this Ulanzi silicone case with lens cap and lanyard for your GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now I picked this one up on Amazon. They're currently running for around $13. You'll find all the links below in the description. So let's get right into this review, open this up and put it on my GoPro. Okay, so in the package you've got your silicone case. It feels quite strong, a thicker silicone case. It's got cutouts for the microphones and covers for the buttons. It says mode here so you know exactly what the buttons are for and a cutout for the screen here at the front as well as in the package you are going to get a lanyard this one is probably over a foot long and it is quite strong it's got a slider on there so you can cinch it up on your wrist so that's nice and i'm happy with that that feels really good as well as you've got your lens cover here a little black Ulanzi lens cover. It's not actually designed to go right onto your GoPro. It needs to go onto the case. So you do need to have the case on to use the lens cap. There's little notches here, it looks like, that hold it right onto the case. So we'll throw that on my GoPro here and see how it fits. So the GoPro just gets installed through the back here. It slides in really easily. It's just that quick to put it on. And the case feels quite tight on there. Because it is stretchy, it just installs really quickly. Um, you can see that there is a hole cut out here for the front screen so you can still see what's going on there. As well, you can still see the little red light here when it's blinking that is within this cutout. There is a raised lip here around the lens that sticks up maybe a sixteenth past the lens. So if you do drop it on the lens, it's going to help protect that. A cutout here for the front microphone. On the side, you're going to see there's a second cutout here for the side microphone. It's kind of engraved in the silicone, the mode button as well. You can still see the logo here. On the back, you still have full access to the screen on the GoPro. So that's really easy to use in there. As well as on this side, they do have a cutout here. Now Ulanzi does sell a new battery door cover with a hole in it. It's not waterproof, but allows you to charge your GoPro with the case on. And I'll show you that on the internet there in a moment. They've got the the um, lanyard hole here as well as your shutter button to start recording. On the bottom they do have a full cutout here as well so you can just fold out your mounts and connect it right to your GoPro mount that you're using. So it's that simple to put on and use this silicone case. So I went ahead and put the lanyard in. It is quite long. It's got that cincher on it and it does feel quite strong. As for the lens cover cap, now it does have notches and grooves on it in the silicone. So when you put it on, it does stay in place quite well if you're not bumping it. But if you do bump it, it is going to fly off. So careful when you're out and about that you don't lose that. It does have a little hole there that you could connect the little string to the hole for the lanyard. But it doesn't come with a little string for that. So it's perfect for using it as a lens cover in your bag. But out and about, be careful that you don't lose that. Let's go ahead and test the audio with the case on it. All right, so I'm outside and there's cars going by and it's a bit breezy out here. And this is with the silicone case on. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I've gone ahead and taken off the case. You tell me in the comment section below if you can hear a difference. I've tested this several times and to me it sounds pretty much exactly the same. One other thing I did wanna show you when you do have a selfie stick attached or a GoPro shorty, something like this, is that you can still stretch out the silicone enough to access the battery door and open that up and change your battery really easily. Now whether or not this case will stretch out too much over time we'll have to see but for now that will save a lot of time in changing the battery. Now I did want to jump on to the internet and show you the Ulanzi door cover that they have on there as well as the pricing on these silicone cases. Okay, so we're over here on Amazon and this is the Ulanzi battery door cover that has the hole in it. These are $24.95 and it allows you to charge your GoPro through that hole and that hole lines up with the hole on the silicone case. So really quick and convenient if you do want to charge your GoPro 
on the go without having to open up the battery door. Just a reminder that your GoPro will not be waterproof if you are using this product. So as for the case, they are currently running at $12.95 on Amazon and that comes with the lens cover and the lanyard. If you do wanna look at the dimensions of the unit, they are here on Amazon as well. And if you don't wanna get a Ulanzi case, they do have the GoPro official cases here as well. Those run around $20 mark and they're available in several different colors. But just a reminder, you do not get the lens cover with these. They're, they're available in black, blue, pink, red, white, green, beige and orange and those are running right around the $20 mark. All the links are in the description below. So what are my final thoughts on this Ulanzi silicone case from my GoPro Hero 8 Black? Well, first off, I do like that the silicone is nice and thick. It feels like it's gonna last a long time. They did a good job in the cutouts for the microphones. They all line up perfectly. And I do like that the lip is raised past the edge of the lens. So if you did drop it straight down, that should protect the lens. Um, it feels like it's gonna hold up for quite a while. The lanyard is nice and long and strong, so I'm happy with that. And of course, the lens cover cap to keep it protected while it's in my bag or my pocket. Now, the one thing I wish they could have improved on was maybe made the lens cap a little bit tighter so when you're out and about, it doesn't pop off quite that easy or giving you a little string to attach it to the lanyard hole here. So other than that, I do really like the case and I would buy it again. So I hope this review did help you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking every day because we've got tons of videos coming up that we'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching today and until next time, take care.